Hi, this is Dr. Neda with a new key of health for you. Today I want to discuss with you a topic which is gross, but it is more common than you think. Worms and parasites in children. Worms can infect people of all ages, but children are more susceptible to getting them. These infections are caused by a group of parasites, including roundworms, whipworms, and hookworms that are transmitted through soil. If these are left untreated, they can cause many health complications in the future. This is why it is very important to identify the problem and treat it as soon as possible. Sure, this, is, um, this issue is more common in developing uh, world than developed uh, countries, but it's still quite a common occurrence in children. So let's start with the most important question. How do children get worms? In a nutshell, poor hygiene and unclean surroundings. But there are other ways children can get worms. Um, uh, adult worms can live in the intestines of people. They feed on the food and produce thousands of eggs each day. These eggs are released into the soil when the infected person defecates in public. Uh, these eggs can get into your child's body when they play in the soil and put the unwashed hands in the mouth. This is the most common way they are transmitted in the developing countries with poor uh, uh, sanitary conditions. Uh, the worms can also get transmitted through vegetables that are not cleaned or cooked properly. So if you eat out and you had a salad which was not washed properly or washed with contaminated water, then you or your child can get worms. Um, Another way is drinking contaminated water uh, or eating food with uh, contaminated hands can also spread the infection. Uh, children can acquire worms from others who are un unhygienic. Worm eggs can live under fingernails and can easily pass on if an infected person has fed your child or handled food without washing hands. Um, hookworms larvae can enter the body from any part of the body. Um, especially from feet that is exposed to the infected soil. So they penetrate the skin and travel through the body to the intestine where they become adults. So if you and your child, ch children eat out often, if your kids play in the dirt, if you live near a lake, pond, or river, and your children play or swim in those waters, if you take vacations, especially to countries in the developing world, your child may be more susceptible to getting worms. Bottom line is there is no definitive way of saying this is how your child got parasites. This brings us to the next point. What are the symptoms that my child has worms? Um, first, one of the prominent symptoms of worm infestation is an itchy bottom and sometimes loss of appetite. Um, also, some worms can cause stomach ache. Uh, scratching the bottom might cause a rash around the anus and lead to infection. So you want to look out for any of those symptoms. Uh, spotting adult worms in the child's poop. Yep, live uh, wriggly ones. Um, upon careful examination, you may find tiny worms around the child's anus. If you especially check it the first thing after they get up in the morning. Uh, decreased physical performance, a usually active child who is no longer sh showing interest in playing or running around and shows signs of fatigue, um, you would definitely want to consider worms in this case. Uh, vitamin A deficiency that can result in dry eyes, uh, anemia in case of hookworms, uh, malnutrition, and intestinal obstruction, in which case the child will look weak, lethargic, and unhealthy. Um, Heavy infection can cause uh, itching vagina and vaginal discharge in uh, pre-pubertal girls and adult women. So uh, if you have those symptoms, you definitely want to also consider uh, worms in this case. Parasites can cause other problems such as nutrient uh, deficiencies, allergies, uh, and food sensitivities. When parasites enter the digestive system, they release metabolites that have a um, toxic impact on the entire body. I know it is horrible to think that your child is carrying parasites who are feeding off of him, but there is no need to panic. There is never any need to panic. Take it very seriously, but don't panic. If you find worms in your child's poo, consult a doctor. The standard treatment is a deworming tablets. 
you can take those. Uh, but if you prefer to treat them naturally, there are a few things you can do at home. First is to reset your child's gut microbiome. So parasites are often a sign of a loss of probiotic species and a healthy gut microbiome. Through promoting balance of the gut microbiome uh, through diet and probiotic supplements, you can help your child naturally fight parasites. So definitely want to look into probiotic, probiotic supplements. Second, strengthen your child's immune system. When the immune system is strong, it's better at fighting off parasites. Be sure your child is getting enough vitamin A, vitamin D, and vitamin K2 to help them res resist these parasitic infections. These factors should help their immune system balance uh, exposure to potential harmful gut parasites, and parasites in general. Um, encourage your children to eat lots of colorful fruits and vegetables. Uh, I highly recommend giving your children multivitamin and mi mineral supplement as a regular practice. Um, keep sugar out of their diets as, uh, since parasites thrive on sugar. There are certain foods uh, you must increase in your child's diet since these foods are going to work as a deworming medicine. These include garlic, papaya, carom seeds, pumpkin seeds, um, bitter gourd, uh, neem, uh, turmeric and uh, coconut. I'm going to uh, give you the benefits of these foods in this particular case in the in the about section of this video so make sure you check it out. Um, there are a couple of things you want to be careful about if your child is a picky eater and you know they will not cooperate with these natural remedies don't waste time and give them the deworming tablets instead. Um, if you administer natural remedies and don't see any difference within two months at most, take them to the doctor and get the tablets. It's because it's always better to be safe than sorry. Take precautions when you know you and your children might be vulnerable to getting worms. Like I said, prevention is better than cure. Uh, you definitely want to, before you travel to on a vacation to a developing country, you definitely want to start taking foods and supplements which will help strengthen your immune system. And take caution while you're there, like covering your feet or not uh, being around contaminated soil or, or water. This is it for this video. I hope I have answered most of your concerns. Uh, I'll see you next time. Make sure to like and share the video and subscribe to my channel. Take care. Goodbye.